Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey here with Murray Chrysler in Strathmore. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now this is a new model that's hit our lot, however the Jeep Grand Cherokee itself has been in production since 1992, the first models hitting the ground in 1993. And what we've accomplished since the first Grand Cherokee's hit the ground in 1993 is the Jeep Grand Cherokee is the number one awarded SUV of all time. And that speaks volumes to what the Jeep Grand Cherokee has to offer because every vehicle out there has been the best of something at some point through one given year. Now since 92, the Grand Cherokee has received so many awards, it's the best awarded of all time. The main thing is the Jeep Grand Cherokee has to offer is it offers capability and class. Capability, of course, because of the Jeep Round and the class because of the comfort features this thing has to offer. Now having a look here right off the bat, power tailgate, which is always a nice feature to have in any vehicle we're looking at. Big, big, spacious trunk. Okay, this has seating for five. Uh, you'll notice looking in the back right away here, we got a subwoofer in the side. That's for our 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Looking on the left, of course, we have the buttons for the power tailgate, grocery bag hooks, and then even a little bit of extra storage space underneath the rear cover where we got a full-size spare tire, all of your jack equipment is all nicely anchored down, and you got storage bins on the left and right side there, just for that little bit of extra space. Looking underneath the bumper here, we've got parking sensors nicely tied into the bumper. These are color matching with the rest of the paint, and a backup camera under the back here. So as you're backing up, you're going to be aware of everything behind you. We even have chrome tip dual exhaust around the back, which gives it just a little bit of extra nice look as you're driving around. Uh, as for wheels, this has uh, 20 inch rims and they're enclosed in a, uh, they're inside an enclosed wheel well uh, that's lined with carpeting material there. And that's gonna reduce the noise as you're cruising on the road. Plus it's gonna prevent premature rust uh, inside the wheel wells if you're driving on rocky roads or gravel or anything, which this is more than capable of doing, again, going back to that Jeep Grand capability. Looking inside the back seat here, you'll notice this has an absolutely stunning uh, brown leather interior with black piping around the outsides. Super, super sharp. You can see that it's got the cup holder armrest in the middle. DVDs located on the back of the headrest, not on the headliner. And the reason it's not on the headliner is because we have a dual panel sunroof lets in a ton of light. Now of course your left and your right seats are heated in the back here and we even have a recline slash fold down option here on this on the uh, edge seats. Looking at the summit package too you'll notice that there's a lot of chrome on this vehicle and that helps make the vehicle pop just a little bit more. Adds a bit more class, adds a little bit more feature to it. Looking inside the driver's side door here you're greeted right away by glowing summit logo right in the door well right there really really sharp looking brown leather uh, bucket seats leather wrapped steering wheel gorgeous gorgeous interior really really eye-catching not like your typical all black interiors now there's the badging there for the Harman Kardon sound system really really crisp audio system and you got the wood paneling on the sides there Jeep has taken a very, very capable off-road vehicle and has added a whole degree of class to it. To make it look that much more impressive, to make it pop that much more, to stand out on the road. I mean, just looking at this thing from a distance or seeing it come up behind you in your rear view mirror, it has a really demanding, aggressive presence to it. All the way from the newly designed headlights there with the LED bands at the bottom, your uh, turning signals there, you've got uh, Two levels of grill, of course, your seven slotted grill, which is standard for all of your Jeep product. That's a Jeep uh, copyright right there. It's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about this thing all day. Now, right down here, you'll notice too, we have a sensor for your adaptive cruise control, plus parking sensors in the front. Now, with the adaptive cruise control, this thing tells me that this has the full tech package, which makes it self-parking. It has adaptive cruise control, rain-sensing windshield wipers, blind spot monitoring, rear cross-path detection. Every possible feature we can throw into this, 
to make the ride as safe as possible. Because if you're driving this, you do not want to scuff it up. It is way too nice looking to do that. It'll take a few minutes to go to the inside of the vehicle, and I'll show you a couple of the tech features located inside there. All right, so now that we're inside of the Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit, you can really see the interior class in this vehicle. Like, even looking at the quality of the leather and everything, the leather finish on the dash, Jeep paid a lot of attention to the way they finished the inside of this vehicle here. So I'll start on the top here. You'll notice we got a couple buttons close to the roof here. This includes our vent and uh, visor buttons for the sunroof. Now, when need be, if it's getting a little too bright in here, you can actually draw a shade all the way across the roof of the vehicle and that's going to darken up the inside of the cab really really nicely complete with three options for a garage door opener there and looking at the rear view mirror here this has a couple new features added uh, which i covered in a previous video including the sos and assist buttons here and those connect with the satellite radio uh, x sxm service guardian which is a new feature for our 18 vehicles uh, which includes services like a car locator and remote start for your vehicle via your cell phone, which is an awesome, awesome new feature. Now the 8.4 Uconnect screen got a little bit of a, uh, of a redesign as far as the interface goes. Still the same functionality with a couple extra features like the Guardian service, but they completely redid the whole interface to make it look a little bit more classy, a little bit more intuitive, uh, always complete with the navigation service dual zone climate control and all that plus it gives you options for your apple and android integration into the actual media system itself which is really nice underneath we got just a few buttons now we don't over clutter our dash with a whole lot of buttons we put just what we need to on the dash and put everything else on the touch screen that cleans up the inside of the vehicle here still gives you your climate controls radio and channel plus your defrost and ac those are buttons you need to have on the dash but all the rest of the stuff just clear it up nice and clean. Underneath here shows some of those safety features I talk about on the outside of the vehicle, such as your self-parking, parking sensors, and lane departure warning, uh, which will actually self-correct the Jeep if you start to leave a lane to the left or to the right. I'll cover that in another video too. It's a really, really cool feature to have. Now looking down at the dash down here, this is really impressive actually. Like if you look at just the finish that they've put on the uh, Jeep here. Now this is a textured finish too. It's it's really, really nice. It's a really, really breathtaking way to finish up the inside of the cab. You have a proper shifter here for your eight speed automatic transmission, plus your air ride suspension, select train knob right there, which is as easy as twisting it to use. That's gonna work with your ABS and traction control systems to give you the best traction at all times, plus four wheel drive low and your hill descend control. Going back to that Jeep capability. And looking at the steering wheel here, like I mentioned before, this has a leather wrap steering wheel with a gloss black top on it. This is a heated steering wheel and gets really toasty. So for those Alberta winters when the weather is really bad and your hands are just throbbing, it's so cold, this is going to be a breath of fresh air to hold on to when it's super cold outside. You got a nice big screen up on the dash here where you can customize information on as far as compass temperature, how much gas you have left in your tank. Really, really intuitive and nice simple steering wheel. Okay, not a whole lot of buttons to hit or to uh, accidentally bump when you're driving. This includes your cruise control with adaptive cruise, Bluetooth controls, and a couple buttons for the screen here. We do have audio controls mounted on the back of the steering wheel, left hand for volume, right hand for channel. The way they completed the inside of this vehicle is so nice. It's so comfortable to sit in. It's so quiet when you're driving it down the road, and I can only talk about it so much in a video. It's really, really worth taking a drive. So that pretty much wraps up the, the first glance at the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Not very different from 2017, but really, really, really nice vehicle still. And we're going to keep getting those awards and keep the Grand Cherokee being the most awarded SUV of all time. So I want to thank you again for tuning in and watching me do my walk around the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a fantastic vehicle. If you have any questions about the Grand Cherokee or you want to book a time for a test drive, my name again is Jeffrey McDonald, one of the sales associates here at Murray Chrysler. Uh, for any inquiries, you can contact us at 403-902-0434. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you soon.